Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So today we're going to be doing something. I actually got the idea off of Pinterest and I'm going to be doing my own little spin on it. It's a Halloween themed decor piece. It'll be like a light thing. So I don't really know what to call it, but we're going to go ahead and get on to, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. If you follow me on social media, which, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. And we're going to go ahead and jump on in and I'll show you everything needed. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and show you everything needed for this project. So what you're going to be needing is two pieces of wood. I'm not making a very big one, so these are the two pieces I chose. I got them from Dollar Tree and as you can see, they got a little bit of uh, width to them. I guess you call it. So you're going to be needing that. You're going to be needing a skeleton hand. I picked this one because it's curved up and it just makes it easier to use. So you're going to be needing that, which I also got from Dollar Tree. You're going to be needing a little LED pillar candle. Again, Dollar Tree. Practically everything I got was from Dollar Tree. So you're going to be needing some paint. And I'm going to be using Waverly Chalk Paint Ink, the black. And then I'm going to be using Apple Barrel White. Those are the two paints I'm going to be using. So you're also going to need a drill and some screws, screws and a drill, drill bit. And you're going to be needing some paint brushes. Sorry, couldn't think of what it's called. All right, let's get to it. All right, y'all. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be painting the wood. And I'm going to paint it black. And on this one, you see that there's still some of the sticker left. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to paint right over it. If it doesn't want to come off, I'm not going to fight with it. So you're going to paint both pieces. I take that back. That's not the first thing we're going to do. I'm so sorry. The first thing we're going to do is drill holes for the stuff so I don't damage the paint too much. Let me see. Yeah, I thought that'd be too skinny. Yeah, I'm making sure that I got a good bit of nail because these are a little thick. That was the word I was looking for, thick, not um, with. So, and this is why I didn't give you the size of the drill bit because it depends on how thick of the nail you're going to use. I mean, screw. So, I picked 332. I don't know what that's called. And what I do is I just put it next to the um what the, the screw I'm sorry I just couldn't think of what it's called I put it next to it and then just go from there on deciding how thick I want it so I'm going to be putting this off the camera because I'm going to go ahead and drill it and I'm just going to drill two holes Now give me one second. Alright, so that is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint it. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I swear if my head wasn't attached to my body, I'd lose it. And this does not have to be perfectly smooth and everything because this is a Halloween themed piece. So... And we're going to paint the whole thing black. Of course, if you don't want it this color again, it's totally up to you.
Now we're gonna let that dry when we're drying. We're gonna do something else that I keep forget. I forgot about again. So give me one second. All right, y'all. I forgot you have to put a hole in this, and I don't really have tools, so I literally just used a drill bit and just moved it around until it made the hole. So now we're gonna continue on with what we were doing, and that's painting. paintbrushes <laughs> and I'm gonna say again it doesn't have to be perfect this is supposed to be creepy and weird I think I forgot to mention you are going to need some glue. Most projects you do. So just remember that. So we're going to get this all painted up and look it pretty. I'm just joking. We're just going to get it all painted up. <laughs> now minus the power tools this is a fun little project you can do with your kids if you have any but if you don't and you like to decorate for Halloween or if you want to give it for a gift this is just something really good you can do alright so we're going to get these all painted up I'm going to go in my little hole because I don't want I really don't want the wood showing that much. So if you get a little bit showing, it's fine. But try to get as much covered as you can. Alright, we're going to let that dry. Okay, y'all, it is pretty much dry. So now we're going to move on to the next step. Give me a second, y'all. Um, we're gonna move on to the next step and it's something I call a dry brush. I don't know how it's gonna come out looking it Hold on It It's just the way it comes out when you do it, so I'm just gonna take and I put some white paint on my brush. It's a very small stiff brush and then I'm just gonna go across like this in some ways and when I run out I'll add some more and do it and we'll just see how it comes out there's really no rhyme or reason I'm trying to go as straight as I can I'm not very coordinated with that but I am trying like there are other ways to do stuff like this but this is the way I wanted to do it so we will see and I'm gonna do the same with the bottom
you don't have to do this stuff. This is just something I want to try. Plain black is fun. So that is that. We're going to let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, y'all, we're going to move on to the next step. And the next step is literally putting these two together. And I forgot to mention, which hopefully you already figured out. If you're going to be doing this, you need a screwdriver to go with the screws. So. start screwing these in I don't have very many tools needed to do everything properly so I'm just gonna do the best I can with what I have so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw this all the way down it just seems to make it easier when I do it this way y'all I don't know for me anyways it does all right so I'm screwing them pretty much all the way down and then I'm attaching where I made the holes for the bottom and then I'm just gonna screw and as I'm going it'll bring the bottom part toward the back a little bit more. This one's not going as much as the other one was. Alright. And it's tightening up, so that means it's almost done. Of course, you can see that. It's almost done. Alright. There it is. And now we'll move on to the next step. All right, y'all, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna put the hand into here, like that. But I wanna add some glue just to make sure that it stays. Don't want any problem. Give me a second, y'all. My glue didn't work. <laughs> I didn't. I moved it too much. It was still a little wet, but I didn't want any problems. So let me redo this. Just hold it until it dries. All right, y'all. Literally, the last step is just putting the candle in it. This candle doesn't have a battery, but it's fine. It doesn't have to have a battery right now. And that is it for our Halloween light decor. I think it came out looking amazing. I can't wait to see what it looks like at night with the light on. All right. So if y'all enjoyed this project, please, please, please like share subscribe and comment down below because it does help my channel grow and it shows me that y'all enjoyed this project as much as i did so i will see y'all next time bye